Welcome back. So I put a little bit too much work on guided problems today. You can see that. Um, so we're going to need a second video for part three here. So for part three, hopefully you and your neighbor first explained how you could divide by a fraction, and then you solved each of these equations. You'll see why we're talking about dividing by a fraction in a second. Our big thing we should remember, dividing by a fraction meant to flip the fraction and multiply. I'm going to put in a fancy term here that's called reciprocal. And the reciprocal is the term that refers to when we flip a fraction. So the reciprocal of two-thirds is just three over two. It's the fraction flipped upside down. We're going to explore here for a second why dividing by a fraction really just means to flip the fraction upside down and then multiply by that fraction. The first thing we should remember, and this has to do with solving equations, whenever x is multiplied by a number, the inverse operation of multiplication, the opposite of multiplying was dividing. So on this whiteboard, quickly, if we had seen an equation that said 3x equals negative 15, the opposite of multiplying, most of you know, would be to divide. And if we didn't solve this by inspection, but use the inverse operation instead, you all would have divided by 3 because that's the opposite of multiplying by 3. So when I'm asked to multiply x by a fraction instead of by an integer, again, I can think what's the opposite of multiplying? It's dividing. So that's why we started to ask you how do you divide by a fraction because the opposite of timesing one by one half is to divide by one half. So if I want to divide by one half, I really need to multiply by 2 over 1. Because again, recall from fifth grade, dividing by a fraction means to take the reciprocal, flip it upside down, and multiply. So if I had asked to divide by one half, that really means times by two over one. And now we can start to see maybe why dividing by a fraction means the same things as timesing by the reciprocal. When I do two over one times one over two, it perfectly cancels itself out. So I do the same thing on the other side, times by 2 over 1, because that's what it means to divide by a fraction, to just flip and multiply. So at the end of the day, x equals negative 40, because that's what I get with negative 20 times 2 over 1. For the second example, again, the inverse of timesing by 2 thirds is to divide by 2 thirds. But we know dividing by 2 thirds really just means multiply by 3 over 2. So I multiply both sides of the equation by 3 over 2 because that cancels out 2 thirds. 12 times 3 is 36. So I get 36 over 2 for y, and y is equal to 18. I can plug that back in. 18 times 2 is 36. 36 divided by 3 gives me 12. So I know if I put 18 in for y, 18 times 2 thirds really does give us 12. So here again, we see the big key. Dividing by a fraction just means to flip and multiply, or multiply the, by the reciprocal, as we know that word means now. So hopefully every time you see the variable has a fraction as the coefficient, you know all you need to do now is multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction, or flip the fraction upside down, and multiply both sides of the equation by that. 